Hey guys, myself Rakesh and in this video we are going to learn is there a way to move emails from my inbox to a, any given folder in Gmail. Can I move or uh, pick out the specific sender if the email is coming from so and so guy then you should move that email to this folder. Is it possible to do that in your Apple Studio? Yes, absolutely it is possible. I have already created a workflow. I'm going to run, uh, no, run this workflow and show you. So now my folder UiPath test folder is completely blank. It's supposed to read the email which I have sent it. Okay, when it's saying me, that means I am using my own mailbox to send an email to my own self. So let's say any email has gone from me to me, then it should go to this folder. So how that is possible? Okay, so let's see. Let me first run it and um, and see how this is actually possible so let me quickly run it now the folder is completely blank the automation has already started so let's see if can it can pick the me emails so let me refresh it the automation has completed okay so you can see one email has moved okay why one email because i have created some restrictions okay only to pick one email so how to do that let's see it okay let me first of all delete all the activities and teach you from the scratch okay now very first thing if you are very new because this entire automation i am using api gmail api if you are very new for the very first time if you are watching this video then i must tell you you should go to the channel automate with rakesh that's my channel and look for these two videos okay api setup google and api gmail sent okay how do, how do you send an email so these two these two videos are important if you watch this this activity is quite easy for you okay all right let's get started so the very first activity as i said it has to be g suite application scope and i've already configured this activity with the required client id client secret and the uh, uh, you know um, auth client is a custom so i have already taught that now next thing is i have to read the email right i need to read what emails are there filter out and then move it to the folder right that is the objective for that i will be using a activity under the gmail the activity name you can type called gmail uh, get mail message get means going to get it get it from your mailbox so first thing here uh, there is a condition it should only read from a specific sender so what i will do i am going to open this expression window in a bigger screen okay and i don't have a filter criteria as attachment should have attachment or subject line doesn't matter what subject line only filter criteria is the email address so here i'm going to place the email address which is i think test rakesh 874u at the rate gmail.com simple okay so the condition is made now ensure the filter against this label is completely blank okay because by default it's going to read anyways from the inbox okay now let's use a for each uh, loop okay and for this activity you should also have an output variable right so i have already created a variable let me assign that emails you can give any name you you would like to okay now um, on this specific one if you see the variable is a array type it's going to collect all the emails from your inbox if you like to restrict because i don't want to really run through the all the emails right i would like to restrict because i'm learning or you are trying to test it so you don't really like to go through all the emails so in that case all you do go to the properties of this activity and let me restrict um, this to not 30 emails three emails should be good okay three emails so i'm going to read only the three uh, three emails which contains uh, test rakesh 87 for you okay so top three emails uh, or the uh, in the inbox any top three emails which contain this one that is the condition that is the meaning now let's use the variable that we had created which is email right emails tab done now after i read it what i um, want to do i want to move it so to move it to the folder there is an activity called change label okay change labels so you just simply type change labels this is the activity i need to use this is a part of the workspace activities all right now how to use this how to use this it's pretty simple now i am in a for each loop so i'll simply pass the object which contains the email 
very good once i pass the object which contains the email here you click on change message label now what the message label will be something else you want to change it to something else labels means folder so what is the folder name here it is inbox by default so i would like to change it to uipath test folder so simply go here and click on create argument and here within the double quote write the folder where you like to move that so i am going to simply say uipath uh, what is that test folder right test folder done click on okay simple that's all your workflow is and let's remove um, any emails which are currently there and just to test it uh, so it's completely blank now now let's quickly run it so how many emails we said three emails right so let's see that let's run it let's see how many how many are coming so the automation has started yeah okay so the automation has completed let's go back and let's refresh this okay you can see the test one two three there are three emails which has already come while in the inbox okay the top three because i have restricted to three now three emails has been moved so did we achieve our target of move emails from inbox to a folder from specific sender okay simple target so we have achieved this target with this video okay i hope it has added a little bit of value um, to your learning so please do subscribe me guys do not forget please do subscribe nothing you know please do support uh, one of your small teacher please do support me and please do subscribe thank you guys we are going to meet once again in our next content till then take care bye bye